Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got a video for the top 10 songs on Monster Cat for July 2022. So without any further ado, let's hop into it. Number 10. Moment by Athena and Smile, the second collaboration of the two of them, the two artists on one. I uh, really enjoyed this track. I liked the production a lot more, I would say, than the vocals. I thought the vocals from Athena were a little lacking compared to their last track. But production was great, and it's kind of a light-hearted, fun, future-based kind of track. Number 9. All We Needed by Coven. The more I listened to this track, the more I actually really started to enjoy it more and more so. And uh, I'm at a point now where I, I actually think it's one of their better songs, maybe even released this year so far. I, uh, it's, it's just a, such a free-flowing track, one to like kind of drive late at night to, and that's what the music video was sort of about. And so I, I really enjoyed this track, and uh, I would like to hear I would like to hear more like this, for sure. Number eight. On You by Boss Fight featuring Javion, the kind of garage track to end the Agony District EP from Boss Fight. Uh, the EP was brooding and incredible and in your face and oh, it was just all over the place in a good way. And uh, this track kind of brought the whole thing down to a lower level at the end and kind of chilled out the finale and uh, I really liked it. The vocals were clean on this and uh, just, a, just a solid garage track, which I mean, I sort of expected from Boss Fight, but not having heard much of that kind of style from Boss Fight in the past, I, uh, I, w I had, I don't know, unjust expectations maybe, and I, w I was very pleasantly surprised by this one. Number seven. Mirrors by Mazelle and Darby featuring Bellella, I want to say. I'm not sure how to pronounce that exactly. But uh, yeah, this song is very, very interesting. The sound design is creative and unique, I'll give it that. But uh, I don't know, it just felt like the idea of the sound of the production of the song was, was really cool. And they're like, oh yeah, we hit it really strong with this. But then didn't quite expand on it enough. I felt like if this song was maybe expanded on with a third drop or even just something very different on the second drop for, rather than the first, uh, this would be really, really Really high up in the list for me, maybe even of the year. But uh, yeah, other than that, it was just a it was just a, just a solid track. Number six. Sound and Silence by Prof that is presenting Soul Torque and Flow Anastasia. Another Silk song this week. The two times I've done this video, I've actually been surprised to have a Silk song on the list, but you kind of expect that from Prof at this point. Uh, just the DNB with the Silk kind of sound is honestly great. I think it's some of the best songs on Silk, and Prof is, in my opinion, my favorite Silk producer. Uh, it's just honestly, some of the DNB was better from this for better from Prof than we've heard on Monster Cat uh, on Cajun Instinct the last little bit. Number five. Bad for You by Ivory Hammerhead and Danny King. Um, although I just talked about drum and bass being really good on Silk, this one was a little bit better. Obviously the dance floor style of this drum and bass compared to the more laid back liquid sound of Sound and Silence. But uh, yeah, this one was great. Um, <laughs> all the uh, all the Never Say Die artists are coming over to Monster Cat now and uh, this is one of the better songs I think to come from that kind of exodus of the Never Say Die artists, sort of, of if you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed this track, tons of energy and uh, just a great drum and bass track. Number four. Fly by Bad Computer, a little bit not as high as I think most of you would have expected. Uh, I really enjoyed this track. It's a very more commercial orientated than he's been in the past, especially with his last track as well. If like his Electro House sound is here and the pop is here, it's like 
here. It's not even like an in-between, it's very more pop oriented and for the radio. I was actually just recently out on the boat uh, on the lake and playing the song and it was a huge hit. And so I, I really like it for that kind of setting. Um, I would like to hear a little bit more of the in-between, a little bit more of Electro House sound with that pop commercial idea and push it out there that way, but um, it, it's still a solid track. Number three. A Cookie from Space by Infected Mushroom and Bliss, the new longest song on Monster Cat by I think like 30 or 40 seconds. Uh, it is an absolute journey start to finish. I'm not the hugest fan of Psytrance, I've said this quite a bit in some of my other videos, but I, I enjoyed this one. It's not one I think I would go and listen to a ton repeatedly because I can listen to three other songs that I really, really like rather than just listen to this one that I like enjoy. Uh, but it is something to go back to every once in a while and go like, oh yeah, this is, this is so fun. And I love the end, the, that switch up at the end is fantastic. Number two. Toxic by Boss Fight, a runner-up for this week from the Agony District EP. The EP that I've talked about earlier is fantastic. It's so good. This brooding dubstep design and production that I've heard from Boss Fight in the past hasn't been my flair, but I really, really enjoyed this Agony District EP, and I would love to hear more like this. Number one. You knew this was coming, Dead Man Walking by Grant and Ellis. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite Monster Cat songs in the past three years, I think hands down, almost no questions asked. This is phenomenal. This is top 10 all time Monster Cat for me, I think. I love Grant, I love Ellis. Their sounds mesh together so well, so perfectly. My only gripe is I just wish it was a little longer. That was it, I just wish it was a little bit longer, but oh, it's so, so good. I love the, the pull of me. Um, like, <laughs> oh, I love the song so much. But that has been it for this month in Monster Cat, my top 10 songs. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Other than that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.